Insert the end panels between the flanges of the V-grip uprights using the supplied hardware. The end panels will overlap in order to fit the height of the unit being assembled. Make the hardware finger tight. The bolts will be tightened when the unit is completely assembled. Make sure that the slots in the uprights are facing in the same direction before bolting the brace plates. You will need two end frame assemblies to continue with the assembly of a shelf starter unit and one end frame assembly for each add-on unit. Insert corner reinforcements starting with the bottom and top slots and install the bottom shelf followed by the top shelf between the uprights and corner reinforcements. Press down in all four corners to seat the shelves. Next, fasten the back panel assembly to the lower shelf first using the supplied hardware. Then fasten the second back panel assembly to the top shelf using the same hardware. The back panels will overlap in order to fit the height of the unit. Now install the back panel brackets on both rear uprights, one near the top of the unit, one at the center of each overlap, and one near the bottom of the unit. The bracket is installed into the upright and a dark clip is then installed horizontally to lock the brace in place. Use the supplied hardware to attach the back panels to the bracket. Tighten down all the screws that are finger tight. Position the corner reinforcement clips and back panel clips in the desired locations and install the remaining intermediate shelves. One back panel clip is supplied for each intermediate shelf. Additional clips are available for seismic applications as shown in this video.
Using the existing starter unit previously assembled, you will need one closed end frame assembly to continue with the assembly of a closed add-on shelving unit. Insert corner reinforcements starting with the bottom and top slots of the add-on as well as the existing starter unit end frame and install the bottom shelf followed by the top shelf between the uprights and corner reinforcements. Press down on all four corners to seat the shelves. Now install the back panel brackets on both rear uprights. One near the top of the unit, one at the center of each overlap, and one near the bottom of the unit. Next, fasten the back panel assembly to the lower shelf, first using the supplied hardware. Then fasten the second back panel assembly to the top shelf using the same hardware. The back panels will overlap in order to fit the height of the unit. The bracket is installed into the upright and a dark clip is then installed horizontally to lock the bracket in place. Use the supplied hardware to attach the back panels to the bracket. Position the corner reinforcement clips and back panel clips in the desired locations and install the remaining intermediate shelves. The shelf locking clip is shown being installed on this unit, but they are only required in seismic applications.